Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this series of videos we'll be looking at using the boolean data type and how to manipulate it with logic gates, adder circuits and flip-flop circuits. In this video tutorial we'll be looking at Carnell maps, so without further ado, let's go. First of all, a Carnell map is an alternative way which is often easier than boolean algebra to simplify boolean expressions for those involved in more than two variables. They are similar to a truth table and allow you to detect groupings with common factors. In a two-variable Carnell map, the values inside the Carnell map are copied from the output column of the truth table, so every input and output can be represented by the Carnell map. Take this two-variable Carnell map for example, representing the function not x1 or x2. The reason for this is that not x1 will output a 1 in every square that corresponds with the input that is not 1, and x2 will output a 1 in every square that corresponds with the input that is 1. Like a two-variable Carnell map, in a three-variable Carnell map, the values inside the Carnell map are copied from the output column of the truth table, so every input and output can be represented by the Carnell map. Take this three-variable Carnell map, for example, representing the function a or b. The reason for this is that a will output a 1 in every square that corresponds with the a input of 1, and cb will output a 1 in every square that corresponds with the b input of 1. In summary, Carnell maps are an alternative way of simplifying Boolean expressions that are generally easier and quicker to use than Boolean algebra.